Welcome to Smoky CNC Woodworks. I'm Brian, and as you can see today, I am in the showroom at Billy Cook's Saddle and Harness. And that little first clip I showed you right there, I was walking around here, you saw all the tool work they do. All this stuff is hand done. Like I told you in the last video for their first logo sign, I'll leave links down in the description box below when I, at the end of the video, you go check them out and see what they're doing. And so, like I said, this stuff is amazing stuff. The hand, the tool work is so detailed. And you would think they had already gone back the, the new school way and start doing stuff with lasers, but they still have a full room in the back that is just full of workers. No. <laughs> get you, get that. And you see here we might have a reluctant worker that doesn't want to get on yeah, video. So we'll just know. show we'll just show her work. <laughs> So as you guys saw right there, all this stuff is hand done. They sit out in here and just pound on leather for hours. So what we're going to do today is we're going to cut Billy Cook's second logo. It is one with the original owner's signature in it. And I saw it here somewhere. It's going to look something like their little medallion they put on the middle of their saddles. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to cut another logo for Billy Cook's saddles. So here we go.
Well guys, that was it. Turned out great. Uh, you know, it came out looking a lot like the last one. It wasn't far off the original logo, but it had the original owner, Billy Cook's signature in the center, and just has a different look. This is something they requested whenever I made the last one, and just told them it'd be a little bit before I got to the next one. So, <clears throat> it came out cool, and I'm, I'm quite certain they're going to be pretty happy with it. So, as you guys saw there at the very first, I showed you a lot of the leather work, uh, and like I said, I'm going to leave their links down below in the description box. So if you're interested in any of their leather stuff, go down there and click on them, or click on the ones that are clickable. There's one of them that's not clickable, but at least go to their Facebook page at some point and check them out. They make really cool stuff. So guys, that's going to be it this time. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.